are beginning tonight with City Councilman Jose Castaneda taking on the city of Salinas. Today, he filed a claim for damages accusing the city of violating his civil rights. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker has our top story live right now. Bryn? Dan, Councilman Jose Castaneda is accusing the city of discriminating against him because of the people he claims to represent. Now, he says those people are the minority population in Salinas as well as underprivileged people in Salinas. But the city disagrees with these claims and says he doesn't have a case. We feel that the voters of District 1 have been disfranchised. Um, that they are my clients. They are the claimants in this case. Councilman Jose Castaneda and his attorney Anthony Prince are pointing the finger at the city. They say the councilman has been illegally silenced by council rules, rules that they say were put into place to target Castaneda. It's part of a civil conspiracy. It's part of a collaborative effort of the city, the city council, the mayor, the police, and perhaps other entities, public and private, to. Uh, deprive the, the voters of District 1 of their right to have cast a meaningful vote. One example of this, Castaneda accuses former Mayor Donahue of convincing council members to change council rules to keep Castaneda from moving his own agenda forward. We reached out to the former mayor. He says the accusation is false, that changing the council rules had nothing to do with Castaneda. In general, and this, this predates council member uh, Castaneda, and in fact, I frankly think he's given himself a little too much credit. I just frankly view this as just an, another sad chapter in the civic uh, in, in the civic saga of uh, Councilmember Castaneda. Castaneda claims the censure last month and the rule changes put the city in violation of the Voting Rights Act. So he is asking the city to respond in 45 days. He wants the city to withdraw the censure and several other actions, or else he plans to sue for damages and injunctive relief. Salinas' city attorney says Castaneda doesn't have a case. He plans to recommend the council reject the claim altogether. It's a fundamental misunderstanding of the Voting Rights Act, some allegations which have no basis in federal or state law, and so why would the city write a blank check for no violation of law? Now, the city attorney went on to say that he plans to meet with the city council in closed session on September 15th to discuss these claims. He says he's going to recommend that the city council reject the claim altogether, which does mean that Castaneda will likely file suit. Dan? All right, thank you very much, Bryn. One more note. There's a $5,000 fine hanging over Castaneda's head stemming from his refusal to step down from a school board seat when he was elected to the city council. Castaneda is now asking for public help in paying those costs. He is forming a legal defense fund soliciting donations around the state.